In this video, I'm going to be reviewing the Pilot Explorer fountain pen. I'll go over the specs, I'll do a writing sample, and I'll tell you what I like and don't like about this pen coming up. Blake here with Blake's Broadcast. On this channel, I review fountain pens, paper, and ink, and as always, I put links in the show notes in the description below. And if you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button. It really helps out my channel. All right, let's get on with the review. So this is the Pilot Explorer fountain pen. This pen was provided to me free of charge by Pen Chalet. There are links to this pen in the description. Thank you very much, Pen Chalet, for sending me this pen. I reached out to them to ask them if I could review some of their pens, and they very nicely sent me a couple. Thank you very much, Pen Chalet. So let's do the review. So this is the Pilot Explorer. This is a pen that I've been interested in for a while. You know, I'm a huge, huge fan of the Pilot Metropolitan. I think that is just one of the absolute best entry-level fountain pens you can buy. It really is just excellent performance, really nicely made, and very affordable. So this has a retail price of $29 or $30. It's the same retail price as the Pilot Metropolitan. I think the street price is $23.50. Sense. Let's walk through the pen. So walking through the pen, you know, we have almost, almost flat tops. They're not quite perfectly flat. It won't stand on a desk, so it's not, they're not flat. But it's a very good looking, I think very modern style pen. I definitely, definitely like the looks of this better than the Metropolitan, which are just kind of very plain and pedestrian looking, I think, whereas this looks quite a bit nicer. The body on this pen is a resin. This matte black one almost has sort of a, a rubberized texture to it. The other finishes are more of a metallic finish. They all look really cool and they come in some nice bright colors. I think I've seen like a lime green one and a bright pink one. So there's a lot more options. I think this pen is more fun than the Pilot Metropolitan, at least in terms of the design. We have these kind of almost flat tops here, and then we have these lines. They almost look like threading here and here, but they're, they're not, and at the edge here. Looks nice, kind of a, almost like an industrial look. I think it looks really good. I, I love the looks of this pen. And then we have these strange holes. <laughs> I don't know what to call them in the side of the cap. Portholes, you know, the pen's called the Explorer. Not really sure what they are exactly. If you guys know, let, let me know in the comments. I, I'd be curious. The clip here is metal, but it matches the body really nicely. It's all black, very slender, pretty strong. It's not spring-loaded, but it is definitely pretty strong, I would say. And then, of course, we have the Pilot logo here, big branding on the side. Normally, I don't like that, but for whatever reason on this pen, it, it works pretty nicely. And because it is also, you know, it's matte black, it doesn't really stand out too much, but it's very well done, very crisp. It, it just, it, it looks good to me. And then we have sort of long, slender body here. Now taking the cap off, we have a translucent grip section. It's a shiny plastic smooth. I mean, you can kind of see the, the feed in here. It is sort of a, a dark translucent plastic. Very nice. And then again, we have the same nib that you get on the Pilot Metropolitan. This is a fine. It also comes in medium. And these are very fine writing pens, so I would really consider this more like an extra fine. The pen comes with a Con B converter, a, a similarly priced pen. The Lamy Safari does not come with a converter, so it is nice that they include that. You also get a, an ink cartridge. It is proprietary cartridge converter system. As a comparison, so here's the, the Pilot Metropolitan. Taking the, the cap off, you'll notice we have, I think, a nicer size grip section on the Explorer. It's longer. You don't run into this metal part here. I think it works better. You don't have quite as sharp of an edge as you do maybe on the Pilot Metropolitan. I've been using this pen for, I think, three weeks now. And sometimes I would see marks on the body, like from posting it, like we might see there. They kind of just wipe off. One thing I will say, though, is have been able to scratch the, the grip section, which is this shiny plastic. You don't really see it, but it is possible to scratch that. But the, the finish has been pretty durable. Let's do some measurements here. So this is 142 millimeters long. Definitely a longer pen. Well, not by a lot. Maybe only a few millimeters longer than the Pilot Metropolitan. But it looks longer. It's just maybe because this tapers so much. But it definitely has the appearance of a longer pen. Now posted, looking at about 165 and about 130 uncapped. So 
just to compare it to a couple other pens here, a Twisby Eco. It's a little bit longer than the Eco. Here's a Vanishing Point. It's also just a hair longer than that. So let's do the grip section. Now this has a longer grip section than the Pilot Metropolitan, which I, I do like. I'm um, going to the narrowest part here, right before the little bump where it flares out. 8.8, .8, which is pretty skinny. And then all the way at the back here, 11.1. .1. I do find that the, the grip section is more comfortable on this pen. I mean, they're both very similar. You'll see sort of there's more of a front part past the flare to the Explorer. And, you know, you have this metal clutch ring here that you don't have on the Explorer. You also have a big, kind of a big ugly seam on the Pilot Metropolitan, which I do not see on the Explorer. So minor differences. Now let's do the weight. And this is with the converter in it, 15.15. That's quite a light pen. As a comparison, this is the Pilot Metropolitan 25.9. This is metal. It definitely does have more of a premium feel just because of that metal. And oh, I do have a cartridge in there. So 15 grams, really not a lot. As a comparison, this is a Bic Click. So it's about twice the weight of a Bic Click. <laughs> Uh, so not definitely not a heavy pen. I find it quite comfortable to use because it doesn't really weigh anything. I do find, depending on how you hold the pen, it can be a little bit top heavy when it's posted. However, it really isn't that heavy of a pen. So even though it might want to fall, you know, back on me a little bit, it's really not a big deal in practice. So definitely can write a long time with this pen. Let's do the writing sample. So before we do the writing sample, this is a Paper Mind Mitsubishi Bank Paper Notebook. This is company that I started. I wanted a Mitsubishi bank paper notebook and I could not find one so I made my own. Blake's broadcast viewers and subscribers get 10% off with code BB10 at checkout. Mitsubishi bank paper is awesome if you haven't tried it. This is a Pilot Explorer. And this is a fine. And this is Diamine Bloody sink. I don't know if there's a Y or there's an E. There's different ways to spell absinthe. I'm just going with what came out there. Um, okay. Do some fast writing. Yep, really nothing to complain about here. This is typical, excellent pilot performance. No issues at all, just really nice. I will say this pen does write closer to an extra fine, so yeah, this is a Twisby Eco in an extra fine, and this has a, a Yovo nib, and they're pretty close in terms of width, so I would think this is probably a bit closer to an extra fine than a, a fine, but it writes really, really smoothly for an extra fine, or a fine rather. Very nice, really no complaints there. Verse writing, definitely scratchier, but it does seem to be able to do it. You don't really get a huge gain in size by going to the back there. Oof, scratchy. I don't recommend it. It's quite scratchy. Now, wet reverse writing. Normal writing, excellent. Now, in terms of flexibility, there really is none, but overall, excellent performer. In terms of reliability, for people that have never had you know a fountain pen before that want to try one i pretty much always recommend pilot i love lami i love kaveco i love twisby but a pilot their quality control they're just really in my experience the the best and i've had a lot of pilot pens if i want someone to have a good experience with a fountain pen that's new to fountain pens i pretty much always recommend pilot just because they do such a good job and yeah this is a great writing pen. Okay, so what are my pros and cons for the Pilot Explorer fountain pen? The biggest pro for me is definitely the writing performance. This is a flawless performer like most Pilot entry-level fountain pens, just really excellent. I like that it has a very cool-looking modern design. 
I definitely prefer the looks of this to the Pilot Metropolitan. I like that it comes with a converter. The pen street price is only $23.50, so very affordable. It comes in a number of pretty cool looking finishes. It's just overall very nice. It's lightweight, it's quite comfortable. I, I really do like it. Now in terms of cons, it only comes in two nib sizes. You get a medium and a, a fine, and they're both of those are on the finer end of those nib grades. So, you know, this fine I would consider really more like an extra fine. Now, you can put other nibs on this pen, like a Pilot Plumex nib will fit on here. So that is always a possibility if you wanted something like a stub. But as you order it, it only comes in two nib sizes, which really isn't a lot. I also found that I was able to scratch the plastic on the grip section relatively easily. This matte black finish does show marks. I seem to be able to rub them away, but it's something that you might notice if you're looking closely. And it does kind of attract dust a little bit more than the metal, you know, matte black pilot pens like the Metropolitan or the Vanishing Point. But other than that, I don't really have any complaints about this. It's pretty hard to beat this pen if you like the way that it looks and are thinking about this and the Metropolitan. I mean, I think you'd probably be happy with both. The Metropolitan does have a little bit more of a, a premium feel being that it is metal, it is a little bit heavier, but overall, I do really like this pen. Okay, so do you guys have this pen? Do you like this pen? Let me know in the comment section below, and if you like this video, please hit that like button, and if you wanna see more fountain pen, paper, and ink videos, please hit that subscribe button. Thank you guys so much, and until next time.